Hey, hey, what do you know? 49ers going to the Super Bowl. Let's go. Um, that is not exactly late breaking news considering that the NFC Championship game was played almost a week ago where the 49ers smashed the Green Bay Packers for the second time this season. <sighs> Man, I love it when my team goes to the Super Bowl. Hasn't happened in a while. They went several years back, but they got beat by the Baltimore Ravens. And the last time they had been in the Super Bowl before that was like 94, 95. And they smashed the San Diego Chargers at the time. That Super Bowl was in Miami. So when the 49ers play in Miami in the Super Bowl, good things happen. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure that the 49ers have a 5-1-1 um, Super Bowl record. So um, I'm not gonna talk too much more about the NFL or the 49ers because I know the majority of my vlog audience is here in Oklahoma-ish area, which means lots of Dallas Cowboy fans. So I love this because I've always, I've grown up hating the Dallas Cowboys which is really awesome or really sucks when you're in this state because when Dallas is good, everybody around here is happy and talking trash to me, but when they're bad and the 49ers are up, it's awesome. Everybody's like crickets. So uh, anyways, hope the 49ers win the Super Bowl next Sunday, but it's gonna be a tough task, man. That Patrick Mahomes and that Kansas City offense, those guys are good. So anyways, it is about 10 o'clock and I'm going to pick up my old man. I gotta put my seatbelt on, that's important. And we are going to go eat some lunch. Today is Friday, January 24th, 2020. Me and Pops are headed up to a tiny town called Thomas, Thomas, Oklahoma. And we're going there because I am going to eat what I consider to be the best chicken strips on this planet or any other planet. Basically the best chicken strips I've ever had. So kind of the backstory is, is shoot over 10 years ago, there was this restaurant in Weatherford, and I went and ate there. It's just kind of like, you know, a little diner, good old southern food, chicken fried steak, hamburger steak, hamburgers, steak, um, chicken, mashed potatoes and gravy, all the morning, you know, just good old southern comfort food. And I tried these chicken strips, and they were just like out of this world. Just everything was amazing about them. The breading the texture, the taste, the seasoning, the meat itself, just so juicy and fresh, so good. So anyways, I'm not really in Weatherford much, and so, you know, a good 10 years or so go by, and I just kind of forgot about it. And then I got to thinking about it. So then I tried to look back into Weatherford and everything to see if, you know, this guy was still set up and everything, and couldn't find him. Then a couple years go by, and I just kind of give up. And then one day I'm on Instagram, and one of my friends, um, post this picture of this place called Willie's and he's like I'm fixing to eat some really good food and so I messaged him like that is the guy that happened to be in Weatherford back in the day and he's like it sure is so I made time to go clear up to Thomas a couple months ago and uh, yeah it's definitely them same chicken strips man they're so delicious so if you ever find yourself in the middle of West Central Central Western Oklahoma, check out a little diner called Willie's in Thomas, Oklahoma. And if you like chicken strips, do yourself a favor and get the chicken strips because they are so delicious. With that being said, what are you gonna get? I'm gonna get the shrimp. He's gonna get some shrimp, not a big chicken eater. So anyways, um, yeah, on to Willie's.
right, well, done with lunch. That was mighty tasty. I am stuffed. Is yours good? Yeah, I'm full. Pretty good stuff, man. Can't beat these small town diners. But uh, anyways, gonna head back home. Not really sure what all the rest of the day entails, but we're gonna find out. <laughs> Later. Two hours and 13 minutes later to be exact. Waiting on Samantha to get uh, home from work. Then we gotta get Bodie from uh, daycare. Then going to uh, see what the uh, evening entails. Uh-oh, Anadarko's finest. Checking to make sure there's no speeders, uh, you know, during the after school traffic and all that. But anyways, I'm headed over to my dad's real quick to uh, see what he's up to, but I have a good feeling I know exactly what he's up to. Redemption 2, he was doing it. Um, what video games, if any, do you guys play? Comment below. I said in the last vlog, I'm really not much of a video gamer, but in the winter time, and especially now having, you know, a baby, it's uh, it's nice to be able to play some video games here, here and there just to pass some time, but I don't wanna get, you know, too addicted and be spending too many hours doing it because man, there's just too much to do, you know, so. All in moderation, right? I asked you guys to comment, you know, what kind of video games, if any, that you play in the comments. I need you to also comment something else. 49ers and the Chiefs. About a little over a week from now, Super Bowl. Who's going to win? Give me your predictions. Let's do something like this. The person with the closest prediction of the Super Bowl score being right, I'm going to do something for it. I don't know what because it depends on who wins it, but I'll do something semi nice for you okay let's let's do something like that comment your super bowl score prediction the winner and the score and the closest to the correct score i will do something for i'll reach out to you and we'll figure something out <laughs> 